something real quick to everyone. It's just something scoffed, right? Basically, a friend of mine was asking how I was doing my auto meshes and how I can like instantly work on a file like after giving me like 10 to 15 minutes of meshing it, right? Uh, arguably, meshing the things by yourself is still the best option. But for me, who wants to save a lot of time for some parts, right? Typically, I have the different options that I have, right? For the first part, you would have like these objects, your hair or anything like that, right? I would have to use this one, my flesh one. It's what should I call this thing? It's settings are 50, 8, 0, 5, 10, 0, right? Because one, uh, it's not really dense here, but you can add more uh, meshes to the parts that's where it's needed. But typically, this is used for parts that are very plain, right? That has no insides, right? Next up, I would have to use for the parts that are the hair, right? Either my eyelash it, bro. Like, this one is used for these parts, right? Because I want to bend and all of that, and I want to bend it well. So it's 17, 8, 0, 5, 10, 0. The other one would I that I would use right for very very plain hair is heavy boundary, a little bit of fixing because you know it has a problem in these parts. But typically, this is seventy two eleven three ten three seven. The eyelash it is arguably still the best thing for an eyelash because it basically keeps to it. That's it. That's typically what I use for the parts like these. A little bit of fixing goes a long way, right? Uh, next part i would have uh for things like these right the objects that are very airbrushy right i would have to use my smoky fangs right a little bit of fixing right because it typically dances up in the middle this is typically i typically use this for the blushes that have a dash like these ones but apart from that those are my four different options for the things that i use uh, typically, I just mess around with the eyelash shit that I have, right? It can also work for these ones, but apart from that, that's it. Hope everyone has a good time with meshing on Live 2D. Have a good one.